escaped the snowstorm from the other side of the ground and we're round here, to, well, but outside the Royal Witchley stand to talk about the uh, the strikers. Lewis, goals are at a premium at times for Shrewsbury uh, yeah. this season. Yeah. Um, just starting off, uh, last summer, strikers through the door, Ryan Bowman, probably the, the one striker who's had a, a good season who came through the door yeah. last summer. Yeah, Maybe yeah, could have yeah. scored more, but, you know, he's, he's chipped in. Good it. return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But definitely should have done my research here but I think he got 13 I think I'm right saying apologies Ryan if he scored more but I think it was either 12 or 13 so I'm going higher to, to boost his uh, boost his confidence now I'm pretty sure he was 13 goals because he was three behind obviously Dan who scored 16 so yeah yeah good 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 debut season for, for Ryan Bowman I mean, he's first proper at this level being an experienced player you know around 30 it's going to be interesting to see how he how he adapted how he sort of settled in the division what he was like and I, I think he for the most part held his own um, certainly more so than other strikers that came in last summer that certainly didn't work we'll get on to maybe but uh, well, a brief mention yeah I think you know that clearly the, the main and, and best forward this season was, was obviously already at the club yeah in terms of Daniel Udo yes. he's, had a, he's had a good season he's I'm not going to ask you to to start the chant but the, the <laughs> Arguably the, 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 the catchiest and most toe-tapping chant in, in English football. You're a big um, fan, aren't you? Yeah, I am yeah. a big fan. Yeah, uh, he's had a good, you know, he's had a good season. Times where you know he went through a bit of a bit of a barren spell, but yeah. you know around that, Streaky, around that wasn't he? Streaky. Around that Liverpool FA Cup game, that goal scored. You know, I think it was was it Aki at Christmas scored an absolute banger. Fleetwood, yeah, Fleetwood yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, they all play in red, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, I weren't even there. But yeah. And uh, just scored some scored some good goals, and he, he's been the the standout man up front. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I think you can use the the revelation tag for Dan, can't you? I mean, you you know, you saw Daniel Ludo before me way back at Telford, didn't you? When I mean, you covered you covered that season where yeah, Dan yeah. top scored at, at Telford, didn't you? At the book's head, I mean. So you knew what he was like then, and then he came to town, and then he had two seasons of scoring four league goals. You know, probably quite rightly was people questioning if he if he yeah, cut it at this yeah, level, but yeah, he, yeah. he certainly showed it at, at times this season that he, he very much can. Yeah, and I mean, in these previous season review videos that we've done when Dan has been involved you know we'd have said oh, he works hard you know he works so hard and that's not you know that wasn't to his you know that wasn't to his detriment you know he's he's got a brilliant well, as a striker you want to be hearing more about yeah yourself, of course you? just yeah. just, just running yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And but and, and now he's a goal scorer as well but even when he's not scoring he's still offering that core you know what he brings hard work occupying defenders bullying defenders at times um, running from inside his own half up to the opposition penalty area you know countless times he did that this season and scored some worldies at the end of it as well as you say revelation he's been um 16 goals you know most of a town player for some time in a season i should say so happy for him um so happy for him so yeah dan and and, and ryan obviously they were town were over reliant on those pair, weren't they? They, they, you know, in, within the three-five-two, they played as as the two more often than not, almost all of the time. They were available. They played, didn't they? So more competition, better quality competition needed. Um, we'll got we'll get onto the rest. Obviously, um, there are words for Tom Bloxham, who had a great season for a 17, 18 year old, and I think we'll have an even better season next season. Obviously, he's been handed a new deal. And and then you're struggling a bit, aren't you? I mean, you know, you're looking at uh, <laughs> Raquel Pike is still at the club. We have to mention him. We should have mentioned him in the wing backs. I just said to you, yeah, 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 wing back yeah, performance yeah. one evening here <laughs> a few months ago. <laughs> yeah, right, Can't yeah, even remember that. who it was against, yeah, but no. he did play well. Yeah, um, and obviously, we were, yeah, Sam Cosgrove is is a is a big factor really in how that didn't come off. That was one of, if not the disappointment we'll just touch, of the season. Just touch on that now. You know, he came in, didn't he? Been Aberdeen. He would come from Birmingham. You know, he come with a little bit of a reputation, doing well in Scotland. Price tag, was a price tag which isn't well. his fault. Yeah, did a was a flop, but interesting. How football works, and, you know. I think he went to Wimbledon in the second half of the season, and, and he scored goals, and he did okay. Well, they went, they went down. They went down, but yeah, he scored. Yeah, yeah. He, went, scored yeah, he scored, he scored goals, a couple. Yeah, he didn't do here. No, yeah. Um, Kostrov scored a couple early on. I think one in the first win. Which was a right fantastic overhead kick. No, that was Bloxham. Bloxham it? Block, block scored the overhead kick that in was that it. game. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's been a long season. Yeah, I think Kostrov scored the winner in that. Or it was a second yeah. in a two-one yeah, or, yeah. or whatever. But so you know. He scored a couple, I remember interviewing him after one of them and he, you know, he, he seemed in decent spirits, seemed sort of confident that he was going to deliver. I mean, that, that loan just was a really poor one 
for concerned. Um, you know, a bit, it was a big problem for town. I think they pinned hopes on him. Um, you know, it, 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 not only did he not score, he wasn't involved from. I can't even think. Sep late September, October onwards, he, he he barely started, didn't he? You know, and it it got sort of progressively worse. I mean, I remember Wigan away, December time. I actually missed that game. I was I was unavailable, but the, the Wigan got a last minute winner, didn't they? And I think Cosgrove had come off the bench and just been walked around for Wigan's last minute winner. It suffice to say, we hardly saw him again after that. And um, and he went back as we all knew would in January. I think there were some reports of a bit of a. I don't like to use the phrase bus stuff, but a bit of a Coming few together. words said in training yeah. perhaps and you know it didn't go well. It didn't go well. And you know, I don't you know, I'd, my understanding is that it probably wasn't a cheap loan either. You know. And it just didn't go well. Yeah. You know, he was a, he was a number nine. He would have been the hopeful to you know, town were linked with a lot of high profile tech forwards last summer. Um, nothing wrong with ambition and, and, and trying for those, you know. A number of them probably scored against town this season. Um, in the end, Cosgrove was the man. Didn't arrive till quite late, August, I think. Number nine, you know, reputation, scored goals in Scotland for a good club. Um, just, just never happened. No, it was, it was, a, it was a problem. But you know, to be fair to Dan, filled the void. I think that's fair to say as the main man. Um, and obviously, that's why now Dan is linked to a championship move and will probably continue to be room in the mill. Um, sort of around him for the rest of the summer. Um, yeah, I, I expect. If, if I were a betting man, I can see Danny next season. Is is the honest? It'll look good if this goes out and he's already left, wouldn't it? By the way, yeah. So don't listen to anything I say. On the bottom. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I think he will. Um, yeah. But I think it, you know, and if not, he'll take a decent, a decent offer because Town have got another year and an option on him. So, um, you know, your credit to the manager. You know, he's he's helped. Danny you do you do blossom and, and come good, come really good. Uh, and I think you know Ryan Bowman will be here next summer. We've already spoke with Tom Loxham, He's got so much ahead of him. So you know one more maybe to come to make it four. Um, or, you know dependent on Udo staying or going. Um, or, or do you get a couple in just for that more competition and depth? You know assuming someone like Pike, you know find you know leaves the club. You know obviously into the final of that three-year deal he signed under Sam Ricketts. Uh, obviously spent the time on, on loan at Scunny didn't he relegated from League 2 so tricky for him there um, yeah and, and another name we could probably put in with the forwards simply because we left him out of the midfielders it's just come to me you can see expert preparation for, the, for this one Sean Wally Sean Wally of course yeah, yeah um, didn't, didn't feature as much as you would have liked in this last season but, no but you know a couple of memories for, for, for time family. yeah I mean you know, when it comes to Sean, and again, I know um, obviously for, for the next video we're, we're going to speak on the season as a whole and you know that some of the big retained this news was Sean, wasn't it, let's be fair, but I think at times, you know, he, he could have played in that front two role if, if you're looking at instead of a Bowman and, and just deeper behind Udo. I'm not, not saying that necessarily happened much, I can't really think that it did, but it, it would have perhaps been an option because otherwise he was when fit and playing in that kind of Vela 10 role, wasn't he, in support of Bowman and Udo. And, you know, Wally's legend, um, you know, will be sadly missed here and it'll be a great signing for wherever he goes, I'm sure. Uh, you know, he's, he's he's almost been a forward over the years here, hasn't he? I mean, 40 goals, you know, for town. Yeah, not many get up to that today and certainly not many play 250 games plus. So, you know, what a credit to him. Um, but yeah, you know, in, t in terms of forwards, I think Udo's been been great. He's been what town fans have, have been looking for for a while. Um, you know they love his personality, what he's about, and he, streaky. I mentioned earlier. You, you're right. It's strange for someone who scored a good number of goals, had barren spells. So you just think, oh, if he'd have got another one or two when he weren't scoring, how many could he have got? Yeah, he could have easily got 20. I think easily. So something for him to aim for next season. Hopefully he's here and he can build on it, and we'll see.